Hi everybody, Rob Keys here, playing some Just Cause 3 on the PC, so uh, I'm sort of, I don't know how many hours I'm into this game, I feel like I've been playing for 8 or 9 hours, just kind of messing around, uh, liberating outposts across the map, but I just uh, liberated enough provinces within this region that I got access to the next story mission, which is called The Secrets of Vis Electra. So I thought I'd record this just so you guys can see what a uh, sort of normal... I shouldn't say normal, but what a mission in Just Cause 3 looks like. So I have not seen this before. We can enjoy this together. Um, I'll just shut up now so you can see what's up. I calculate the wires from this Electra Terminate somewhere over there. There is a power node for General DiRavello's FOW. Mm. Destroy it and we should be able to shut down the weapon. It will be my pleasure. Good luck. So she is sort of the uh, tech guru, and uh, at the very beginning of the game, she upgrades your. Uh, oh wow, it's really glowing. She upgrades your grapple hook, so now you can do more things. So, for example, just to quickly show you, you've probably seen this, but I can take this and hook it to that, and I can hook that one to just for funsies. I'll show you this, and then I press shift, it pulls them all together. So you can do some cool things like that. Um, what else? Now I get how you use these things. Cool. Alright, anyways. Um, yeah, and you have your parachute as per usual. And you also have uh, the wingsuit. Um, so you can do some very quick traversal. Just like this. Parachute into wingsuit. Parachute again. Grapple. Follow those pipes, Rico. Oh, okay. I probably should have paid attention to what she was saying, but we have to follow these pipes. You can see them up there. So, <laughs> these things used in tandem eliminate any need to use the vehicles. The only time I use vehicles um, is using weaponized vehicles, like when I'm, you know, attacking an enemy base and I hijack their tanks and stuff, or helicopters. I never use it for traversal, otherwise. Okay, here we go. Whoops. Uh, because A, uh, vehicles are limited and slow. Two, the vehicle controls in this game um, have a lot left to be desired. The ground vehicle controls are just... I do not like them at all. I don't want to say they're terrible, but they're certainly not good. Helicopter controls are actually pretty decent. What I like that. When these pipes run out, Dima? Oh, it's over here. Destroying the command nodes will disable missiles protecting Chima Leon. Oh, we'll be able it. to access base and hack military Way over there. console. Um, yeah, so this stuff eliminates the need. Vehicles. Also, sprinting in this game is super slow. You can't even sprint, actually. Like, your normal motion on the ground is sort of like jogging. Oh, crap. Hang on. But there are bolts here. That's how we do it. Oh. Wow, underwater. I haven't done this yet. Anything underwater. Here we go. I don't even know how to go underwater, to be honest. Um. Oh, just point. One moment, Rico. We'll have gate open for you. There. You're in. Follow those pipes, Rico. Oh man, I really hope I don't uh, <laughs> run out of air. There's no indicator for uh, oxygen. Oh, I think I'm okay. Yeah, okay, good. Easy mode. Cool, man. So now I can... <laughs> this is uh, pretty impressive. I, look, when I'm in a boat near the shoreline, you can see all the cool like rock formations and stuff beneath the, the, the surface level of the water, but I've never actually swam underwater to see what it looks like. Again, pretty sure just holding down R to that's the reload button. All right, yeah, holsters it. Oh, good. I spent all my grenades, so nice to get a restock here. Cool. Ah, good, Rico. The power node should be in the next room. There doesn't seem to be any crouch or prone option, so it's basically this is the fastest running. Also, the crosshair. This is the 
crosshair is kind of weird in this game. I don't remember that in Just Cause 2, so I'm assuming... That's new to this game. I don't like it. See, I stuck those guys together. It's the armored guys are the tricky ones. The armored guys are... Um, I'll destroy these things. These are grenades, actually. This is kind of useless. Not useless, but nowhere near as effective as... Ah, oh, sweet. So. Ah, look, quicker way out. Wait, where? What are you guys talking about? Over here? I see a big light over here. What's up? Where's the quicker way out? Oh, this? Oh, of course. Um, yeah, the FEO. FOW stuff was kind of weird. So it was one of the provinces in this region. Every time I crossed the border and tried to go near any of the uh, outposts to liberate them, I would just get wrecked by uh, <laughs> airstrikes. I would an infinite amount of airstrikes, even when I'm inside an enemy bases. So um, Look up there. you sort of have to follow the linear progression of the game a little bit there. You still got freedom to move wherever you want on the map, but you really won't be able to, su matter, to succeed. In certain Rico, provinces until you uh, kind of finish what comes before. Nice. Rebels are blue, enemies are red. Which should be familiar to anyone playing any of these sorts of games. Okay, so let's pull up the map now. So now, because we did that mission, I'm pretty sure we can go into here. I th think that's what she was saying. Region. What's this one called? Oh yeah, Sima Leon. That's what she was saying, right? Liberate. We're stuck with this one. Locked mission. Yeah, I couldn't. I was trying to get into this thing. I think that's what she was saying. Central communications, right? Let's just do that so you can take a look. Um, so space bar, and then you can place a waypoint. You can also fast travel and parachute above it, but uh, I'm pretty close. We don't need to do that. Because you only... So, <laughs> this game's kind of weird. Too. You have a limited amount of beacons, I think, uh, to use your fast travel, so I don't want to waste that. I don't have to. It's just straight up top. Uh... Oh, see? Oh, crap, crap. Losing momentum. Oh, man. Scaling mountains is so easy in this game. They improved the controls and made it a lot smoother. It used to be kind of a weird, janky system in Just Cause 2. Uh, sometimes. Going off the mountains, but... Oh! This does a pretty good job at helping... Uh, our auto lock on for you. Let's do this. Okay, so... Uh, I'll make a separate video on how to liberate outposts like the simplest way. But basically, when you get into an area, this red area, the whole thing is a combat zone, obviously. To, just, to find out what you need to do, the objectives, to unlock any given uh, outpost or base, just click on it, and it shows you on the left side here where my cursor is. Hopefully, you can see my cursor, but that's um, a list of all the things you need to destroy. And then, it, it's hard to see right now, but it actually shows you... I can't zoom in anymore. Maybe once I, once I start destroying stuff, you can see it. But it actually shows you where in the minimap sort of thing um, all the little pieces are. And once you've done that, the very last step in... in well, not for, for bases and outposts, you just have to destroy everything. But for like liberating towns and stuff like that, the last step will always be to raise the flag. But the flag only shows up once you've done all the other stuff. So, uh, let's get to it. We have to destroy shit. Oh, enemy choppers. Okay, first thing I want to do is take out their... Okay. I'm going to take out or hack. 
Oh crap, crap. I'm gonna hijack this, so that way if I steal one of the helicopters, this thing's not gonna shoot the gamma right away. Come on, come on, come on, come on, hurry up. Done. Done. Quick look, see if there are any more. Looks like there is, they're right over there. Can. Oh, that is the thing. Crap. Ha, ha. Come on. You can do it, Rico. Got a boy. Okay, so I got both of them. Get a quick scanner on this side just in case there's a fourth one. Don't think there is. Might be okay. Okay, let's hope that's all of them. So where are these choppers at? I'm gonna steal them. Choppers, but there was an attack helicopter. Regular helicopter. Yeah, the crosshairs are, like I was saying, trying to say this earlier, but the crosshairs are kind of ridiculous. They're oversized and not precise. And they make these weird rotating motions. Transformers and the little satellite dishes are pretty easy to take out with your assault rifle. Uh, the gas canisters and the towers, you really, I and mean, satellite dishes, you're really gonna need um, like RPGs and stuff. Or, or The problem with this game so far is um, the guy's still alive, I think. Look at this, useless. It, it gives you so little ammo uh, for your explosive weapons and the amount of grenades you can carry. There are ways to upgrade that, but not significantly. Um, so it's like you're definitely wasting a lot of time grinding this shit. I'm out of, there you go. I'm out of weapon um, ammo for my. Uh, oh! My secondary there, or my main. Sorry, I this is my uh, dual wield. What is that thing? Oh, you have like your main handguns dual wield. And I put on two like uh, little SMGs, which are pretty effective. Whoops! Come on, controls are a little janky. Right now. So 
you see the top left as well, you have a little kind of those icons. That's also telling you how much shit you need to destroy. Oh, good. Weapon reload. This is what you need to build things like this. There we go. Looks like I have one more satellite dish somewhere. It's probably up there. Actually, you can take a look here. Oh, but there's this. Which is... What is that? Oh, over here. Okay. I just got confused where it was pointing. Oh, it's this thing. Alright. Oh, still is one more. There is... I think there's an icon behind the bullhead. That's what it looks like. Which means it would be over here, right? shooting me. What was that? Is there a dude up there or is that a helicopter? Let's take a look. Not seeing it. Okay. Uh, yeah, right? Do you see like a red little line behind? Oh, it's so stupid, the interface in this. I want to like get rid of this bull. That's that's g eventually going to be a mission once I finish whatever that is, that mission. But... Must be up there. Oh, it's right there. Jesus Christ, okay. Right, oh, that should be it now. Cool. Yeah, so these, um... Military bases and outposts. All you gotta do, like I said, is destroy shit. So there you go, a little sample of Just Cause 3. It's, um, so far, the story missions have not really been in-depth. It's sort of like go to point A to B, um, and the one we did was following that pipe, and then just destroying some shit. So very, very simple, and, uh, the challenges are either just, like, racing down pathways, uh, trying to get through checkpoints, or racing to the end to blow something up, or you're... Uh, on like a sort of GTA style killing spree and so it's not very there's nothing innovative about it and so far it's very very repetitive and liberating outposts military bases and villages is the same thing every time there's just like they even look the same most of them so um, I'm hoping the story picks up and there's something new once I get to the other areas more but uh, so far it's I don't know I'm not really with the controls the on the vehicles and, and some of the jankiness and the, the, the gunplay, I sort of feel like it's a little more frustrating than it is fun sometimes. So uh, my first impressions are that I'm not impressed. I felt like when I played Just Cause 2, I was blown away by it and I got really pulled in for a long time. In this game, I feel like it's a chore so far. And that's in my first, you know, 8, 9, or 10 hours. So um, if you have any questions about the game, let me know in the comments. And um, I will put up some more videos of more specific things. I'm thinking I'll do some like very basic kind of quick look tutorial videos of like, uh, you know, how to use certain vehicles or combinations of the parachute and wingsuit. And then I'll do like a quick how to liberate something um, efficiently. So uh, until next time, like and subscribe for more gameplay videos and unboxing videos. And uh, just say hi in the comments. I love reading them. Cheers, guys.